Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Mommy So True. You guys, I am so blessed to be here on today and so are you. You are alive, you're still standing and I am proud of you. I just wanna take a moment to acknowledge that. If you're here, you are healing post-narcissistic abuse and you're more than invited to hit the subscription button, join this community of thrivers, like the video and comment if there is something that resonates with you based on what I'm going to share. In today's video, I am going to share with you my perspective on why leaving you never goes well for a narcissist. And I am talking about a true narcissist because true narcissists really do not let go. If you're dealing with a situation where you feel like, oh, this person moved on, they don't care. You're dealing with a grandiose narcissist and they thrive on acting like they don't care, moving on fast, you know, quickly covering up the, the, the truth about who they are and protecting their mask because of their grandiosity. And then you have the vulnerable narcissist who will try to come back in Hoover maybe every now and then with pathetic stories and blame shifting because it's going to be your fault that the relationship didn't work out. It's, it's your fault and everyone else's fault that their life is in shambles. And whenever they have an opportunity to come and seek supply from you because their supply runs very dry, very low, especially covert narcissists. Covert narcissists are pretty much vulnerable narcissists. This is why they play victim so well. Just to give you a little bit of tea before I get started on telling you why leaving you never goes well for a narcissist. The number one thing I want to tell you is that anytime a relationship ends for a narcissist, this is a major injury, a major blow to their fragile ego. The, the depthness of what a narcissist is, is somebody who has a broken, fragile, maybe non-existent sense of self. So their ego is very, very, very fragile, very, very, very delicate. And they, they latch on to relationships to feed their ego. This is the narcissistic supply. The marriages, the children, the girlfriend and boyfriends that they're dating, it's not because of love. It's not because they wanna you know, be with someone forever and they're looking for soulmates and love partners. They're seeking supply to help keep their ego afloat, to help, mat to help strengthen their ego. That's the whole purpose of being in a relationship with you. So when a relationship ends, a narcissist is is dying on the inside because they've lost some type of a major supply. Whether they're showing it or not, this is what's happening with a true narcissist. This is why most true narcissists really do not know how to let go. Either they're begging you or they're trying to destroy you and ruin your life because they're having a very hard time letting go. Many of you are dealing with a narcissist or have dealt with a narcissistic situation where once you left, once you walked away, once you cut them off, you became a problem. They're somewhere trying to prove that you are wrong for your decision or they're somewhere trying to prove that you're just a bad person and you should have never even been in their life because they're blame shifting all of their issues. They're projecting all of their narcissistic traits onto you. And let me tell you, if you're struggling to let a narcissist go, if you're if you're having a hard time moving on after a narcissist discard or walked away from your life, this is because the narcissist trained you to take on their struggles and also their identity. This is why I encourage you to seek assistance. Therapy, life coaching may be necessary for anybody who may be having a difficult time letting go of that narcissist. You've been poisoned and programmed to be their puppet. You activate this, this shame that's deep inside, this, this sense of unworthiness awakens. This is the reason for them trying to cut you off and move on quickly and replace the supply. Or this is the reason for them hoovering and coming back attacking you, finding ways to get to you even after the relationship has ended. Because the narcissist is in their mind asking themselves, how could this person not, not think about me anymore? Why am I not important to this person anymore? Because remember, all of the abuse cycle situations that, because remember, the abuse cycle, the love bombing, 
the devaluation, the discarding, all of that, the narcissist put in work to keep you at their level. They put in work to maintain control over you. So when you take your power back and cut that narcissist off, the narcissist is very intimidated, pissed off, and completely distorted because you cut a fuel line. You've ripped the rug from under their feet. And many narcissists are not prepared to lose a supply. They're not prepared to lose someone who's been a primary supply in their life for X amount of time. Especially one who has tried to work on things with the narcissist. You forgave them. You let them back in. Every time they said they were sorry, you believed it. You allowed hoovers. You broke no contact. Whenever you tried to leave, you found yourself going back. So the narcissist in some sick way thinks that you owe them your loyalty. So once you leave, not only do they feel crushed by you, disappointed and heartbroken because you left, they are now in their mind trying to figure out why they got left and why they must be the unworthy one. Again, you're dealing with a grandiose narcissist, and, um, an extroverted type of narcissist who, who gets a thrill off of, you know, everyone in their circle thinking that they are the Don Dada they are the, the high and mighty King Kong of the neighborhood. You got those who have enablers and supply that keeps them feeling like they are the man, even though losing you hurts. They won't address it. That's those grandiose narcissists. And a lot of you know that a lot of and a lot of you have that experience with those grandiose narcissists. That's why you may say, I've never been hoovered. I don't get hoovered. They've moved on. They've never said anything to me since the since the situation ended. But I do want you to know that even the grandiose narcissist, when they lose someone, their ego is hurt. Their sense of self is questioned. They're just grandiose and they know how to fake the funk and move on and, and, and try to cover up how really hurt they are inside. Because they cannot afford for the world to see that their pride has been attacked. They cannot afford for the world to see that they are weak because they lost someone. And for those grandiose narcissists, it actually inflates their ego when they can tell themselves and trick themselves into believing that they didn't even need you that much anyway. Grandiose narcissists have a strong reaction to no contact. This is how sick they are. Because even in showing that type of strength, the real truth is when that narcissist is alone and by themselves, they are hit with the fact that they're really truly alone. They are confronted with the feelings of, ah, oh, man, no one actually really care about me. All these people who think that I am this and I am that, they don't even know that really I'm not that. The narcissist knows what they are and what they aren't. They also know that they're lying and pretending and that most people that are, you know, intrigued by this fake image that they're putting out, they would hate them if they knew who they truly was. In spite of what a narcissist is doing outwardly in the open, in the public, you know, the image that they're putting off to their children, to enablers, the flying monkeys, in spite of the image that they are protecting, no matter what type of narcissist it is, when you go no contact, when you leave, when you become done with the whole manipulation ship and decide to walk away, that no contact boundary is an injury to any narcissist's sense of self. It's such a deep and serious injury to themselves that they spiral into this crazy thinking. And they are constantly asking themselves, how could you possibly not want anything to do with me anymore? How could you possibly not be thinking of me anymore? The torment of their thinking their narcissistic thinking, when you leave, when you walk away and when you go no contact, is that if you're not thinking about them, if you are not worried about them or concerned about them, then they must not be important for real at all. You're cut off, you walking away, you're no contact. It activates a deep sense of unworthiness in a narcissist. This is why leaving you never goes well for the narcissist. A narcissist needs someone. 
a narcissist needs someone who who shows they care someone who shows up and takes care of things takes care of them someone who has something to offer their life things that they are without whether it's financial whether it's materialistic, whether it's sexual, or just the image of having a spouse, a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, or children, whatever it is, there is something that narcissists wanted from you, needed you to put in place for them to feel like they were a human. Because every day a narcissist wakes up and they are not feeling good about themselves. They go to bed not feeling good about themselves. I don't care how egotistical and, and confident the narcissist you know in your life appears to be. If they are truly a narcissist, internally, they feel unworthy, especially when they leave or when you leave them. It never goes well for a narcissist when they leave. Because they are the ones truly stuck in their own narcissistic cycle of abuse. When they leave, they got to put in work to try to pull in someone else into their web. This is not always successful for a narcissist. This is why most of them have failed marriages after marriage, like two, three, four, five marriages. Two, three, four, five, six different baby mothers, baby fathers, inconsistency and toxic relationships. And the history just repeats itself. The cycle is wash, rinse, repeat. They're stuck in that. And they can't do nothing about it. And every time they foolishly walk away from another marriage, another spouse, another child, another job, another opportunity to be better in life, the narcissist activates the internal pain that's dwelling deep inside of them. The I, I don't think I'm anybody anyway. I'm not that important. I'm worthless. Nobody likes me. Woe is me, especially those vulnerable, coverted type narcissists. Oh, it's everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. Blah, blah, blah. This is why they are pathological liars and gaslighters. They have to trick people into their lives. It never goes well for them when they leave. Because they don't have a real plan in life. They don't have a true vision for their future. They're so narcissistically damaged that life is a game. They're stuck on playing mind games with people. And that goes nowhere, takes them nowhere, puts them in the same repetitive, toxic situations all the time. They are unable to deeply connect with anybody. So it never goes well for them when they leave. It's impossible for a narcissist to actually thrive like a real, logical, healthy human being. When they leave, it's the same situation with another victim. When they leave, it's them spending the rest of their lives trying to convince themselves that they didn't need someone that they really need bad. And as they age, when that person isn't replaceable, because they're typically not as they get older and they can't find supply because the charm starts to fade away. The looks start to dissolve. You know, they've lied so much. Most people don't believe them. No one wants anything to do with them. They end up in destruction, self-destruction, misery, fake happiness, because a lot of them end up having to settle for whatever they can get. Because that's how desperate they are for anything. Leaving you never goes well for a narcissist. Because the fool probably should have never left. But too bad they're narcissists. And honestly, if they left, they did you a favor. And be aware, be prepared for Hoovers if you're dealing with a true narcissist. Because if they lost a real one, they will not... They cannot and they will not ever find that again. And depending on the severity of their life, the consequences that's going on, the type of responsibilities they really have, the type of support enablers and flying monkeys that are involved, you may witness some ridiculous Hoover attempts. You may witness some crazy attempts to try to convince you that they're changed, they're different, they're better now. Leaving you never goes well for any narcissist. Because the truth honestly is, they're stuck on stupid.
leaving a narcissist, staying no contact and remaining firm and standing on your ground is so important. It can be difficult and a lot of times support is needed. Constant reminder of why you're, why you're away, why you need to stay away may be necessary. Again, if you need that support, feel free to reach out to me, to talk with me and work with me as a life coach to help you thrive and survive past this narcissistic abuse that you are involved in. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate your time on today. Stay blessed. Stay true. Until next time.